Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm back with another Sims 4 speed build. And today's build is going to be a coastal diner that I built in Windenburg at the sea. I think it's a very pretty location to build on and I decided to build like a lighthouse style restaurant. Um, I thought that would be very fitting for this location even though like the surrounding buildings are a little bit more modern i think it still fits there pretty well and i also used this patio item um, that i found in the debug items from the love struck expansion because i think it just is very pretty and i thought it would be a very good addition to the diner and um to make it work i place it in the basement you will see that later on in the video I placed it in the basement and used the 9 key to lift it up over a ground level and um, yeah basically build like a normal patio there so you can um, walk on top but it has like the illusion that you're actually walking on the patio item from the debug that I used I think it's just really cool um, I, I love to use this trick with the basement um, when I started building in The Sims 4 a lot so many years ago I did that a lot but um, yeah I, th I think we have a lot of stuff that works now just fine so you don't have to use um, that many workarounds anymore um, but I think it looks really cool and I think it's a very cool feature and yeah if you didn't know that you can do that with pretty much any item if you like lift them up from the basement level of the house the game thinks that the item is in the basement so it's not blocking anything off on the ground level for your sims so your sim can walk through it and everything works properly it might look a little weird when they walk through items but i think it's a very yeah a very cool trick for a lot of build ideas um if you didn't know that so um i did that and the diner is pretty much lighthouse style as i said so i went for like a blue color um i wanted to use some red accent colors as well but i struggled a little bit but as you can see from the thumbnail i used some red accents there as well for like the windows and the door and some parasols as well so i think i made it work quite well um i have a little bit of trouble with the color red because it's just not my favorite and it feels really hard for me to incorporate into builds and um yeah it's just a little bit of a struggle for me so i went for a lighter red that is not too um too bright but it's like more into a shade of orange I guess but it's still red I think and I also built this little tower thing that makes it look like a base um, like a basement not like a basement like a lighthouse I said basement so much in this video that I just can't keep thinking of anything else and I also used the um, for ranch for ranch pack was wrench rent not for wrench what am I talking <laughs> I also used the wrench what is the name of the horse pack it, I, I totally forgot I, I wanted to say for wrench because of for rent um, horse wrench I think it's called horse wrench expansion I used a lot of I items from this pack because I think they have a very cool and very realistic looking wood texture so I used a lot of those items on the outside as well and I also used um, a lot of windows from the cottage living farm life cottage whatever expansion pack I I just can't keep track of the names it's just too much for me um, I think it's the cottage living cottage living expansion because they have like a very rustic look to them and I think they fit the house very well um, or the diner I used the restaurant lot type for this house um, and I would imagine it to be like a seafood restaurant or something like that 
um, but I didn't uh, set up anything on the menu or something, so it's totally up to you. I haven't played with restaurants in years probably, so I have no clue how that works anymore, but I think you can set up the food that is on the menu of your restaurant. And I would imagine it to be like fish and other seafood related stuff. Um, there's a very pretty area on the outside to eat on the patio that I made and on the inside there's also a bunch of sit seating areas so um, I think it's very cozy and rustical and I think it's, yeah it's just a very atmospheric place to go out to eat or if you want to have your own restaurant I know that the restaurant gameplay is pretty buggy but I think also remember it to be very fun so maybe you want to do that as well and um, yeah if you want to download it it's in my gallery my idea is Sarah Amina you can download it there I think it's a 30 by 20 lot if I'm not wrong I'm not sure I think it's a 30 by 20 lot in Windenburg you can also probably place it in on other lots as well of course but I think it fits there pretty well and um, yeah I hope you like it I hope you enjoy the video and the rest of the video and I will see you in my next video have a great day and goodbye I'm so beautiful without you now my skin glows and it shines like glue I'm pretty without you pretty without
sleeping just fine without you Didn't know I could Something about me feels strange Something is just not the same I haven't been thinking about you Even when I should
Force through the blinds Wash away the worries Like a winding tide Yesterday Left far behind Your sweet scent Fills my lungs so In this soft light, troubles fade away with you. No need for words to say your love. A gentle breeze that carries me through. I give up the world, the moon, the sky. For you, I'd reach so high. Across the ocean, I'd soar with pride. For you, for you, I I give up my dreams, my hopes, my view For you, what more could I ever do? I give up the world, the moon, the sky For you, for you, I In the silent dawn You stir from sleep Sunlight paints your face in a golden sheen. The hush of dawn, a peaceful scene. Mm, a love that grows like a tender rose. In the soft light, troubles fade away. Through the blinds Wash away the worries Like a winding tide Yesterday Left far behind